In this video, we're going to talk about wire rope. When you need rope that is flexible but very strong, look at wire rope. This is a great solution. On this page, there are quite a few different examples of wire rope. Um, one thing that you might notice is that there are different constructions. For example, let's look at this picture and blow it up a little bit. You can see how uh, the wire ropes are configured in different patterns. Uh, and, and each one of these patterns is uh, a pattern within a pattern. So like this one right here, you can see, I don't know how many different ropes or strands there are in there. Maybe they're, I don't know, 15 strands or 20 strands, something like that. And that bundle of strands is patterned, you know, seven times or six times around here. And then it looks like there's, there's another like sub pattern of uh, seven other bundles of strands in there. Anyway, uh, uh, there, there are a variety of different constructions. And if we hop over to McMaster, here we can see uh, a few of those constructions. So like this one just has seven really thick strands that are bundled into um, this, this construction, this configuration. Uh, Right here in this field, we see uh, a variety of different common constructions for wire rope, we have like one by seven. This one right here would be an example of one by seven, where each each bundle is comprised of just a single strand, and then there are seven of them. Um, and then you know, if we wanted to look at like I don't know, let's say a seven by seven. Let's see, here we go. So here's an example of a seven by seven where you have seven strands in each bundle and that bundle is, is patterned around seven times. And these configurations or, or these constructions produce uh, different levels of, of flexibility and strength. Um, one of the specifications that wire ropes often have are the, uh, the bend radius or the, the minimum radius around which you can you can safely bend the wire rope without uh, having it take a set or without having it plastically deform. Uh, let's see, fits pulley drum diameter. So that's that's kind of that minimum bend radius that I was talking about. Fits pulley drum diameter. Um, let's see if we have one by seven. Yeah, I don't I don't see that same specification here on these, but most of them will have that that minimum bend diameter or that fits round diameter. Yeah, here we go. Fits fits pulley or drum diameter. You know, these are pretty big ones. But um, anyway, different constructions. Uh, these are are typically sta uh, steel, uh, different types of steel. We've got you know eighteen eight, three hundred five, three sixteen, and then it looks like we've got some nickel, copper, and, and phosphor bronze as well. Um, a lot of them come uh, just bare without without any uh, coating on it, but there are also coated versions. So down here we see these coated versions and the, the coating on the wire rope just gives them a little bit more lubricity. Um, if you're maybe sliding something, uh, it, it might be nice to have this coating. It's you know less abrasive against whatever it's it's moving on or around. Uh, so that's something else to keep in mind is that uh, uh, you can get these wire ropes with with a nice uh, smooth sheath or, or coating as well. Uh, let's see, how are wire ropes actually used? Well, um, one of the big examples you might see is on um, uh, suspension bridges. Yeah, they have these thick wire ropes. These, these are very uh, high tensile strength, high strength um, wire ropes that are used in in things like suspension bridges. Uh, they're used in you know construction equipment like this picture here. Uh, of course, they're they're also used for uh, smaller you know less super industrial applications as well. Um, I don't know. You might you might hang a TV from the ceiling or or something like that. Uh, but there there are uh, the the sizes vary quite a bit. Let's see diameter. We have less than an eighth of an inch in diameter all the way up to greater than half an inch in diameter and that that might not seem like a lot but what, when you're doing dealing with wire rope that's that's quite a big difference and uh, your your load capacities will change greatly uh, based on that diameter as well uh, as will your your uh, bend radius specification
Uh, there are a variety of different fittings that can be applied to the end of a, a wire rope depending on what you, you want to do. So uh, some of those are, are shown here. You know, uh, a lot of them are just different different loops that can be created with the wire rope so that you can, uh, you know, hook something around the end of it by having a loop there. Um, let's see, you know, there are, there are a lot of different pictures here showing different different fittings that can be applied to a wire rope. Uh, there are uh, uh, several companies out there that, that specialize in doing nothing but wire rope and wire rope fittings and different constructions of wire ropes. One of them that, uh, that we have enjoyed working with is a company called uh, Strand Products. So I've got their catalog here and you can see some of these uh, fittings. These are just simple balls that have been swaged on to the end or crimped on to the end. Uh, but they have a, a variety of different fittings. Uh, you can make, you know, these really small, you know, barbell-shaped wire ropes with some some ball fittings on them. Uh, they've got um, you can you can pattern these swaged balls on them. Uh, there are custom fittings that that you could put on the ends of them. Uh, but but the point is there are a lot of different fittings to accommodate uh, various applications with uh, with wire ropes, and uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, takeaway point: if you need a flexible rope that has very high strength, uh, wire ropes are a great piece of hardware to uh, at, at which to look. If you found this content helpful. Consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.